there is a recent update from the Cadence theme that now you can design wireframes right in your WordPress website. So how it is done, how you can access this wireframe feature in your WordPress website, let's discuss all in this video. Let's begin. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to AnkitSharma.tv where we create videos related to WordPress like this one. And if you like to watch more videos like this, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss our future videos. So if you are a freelancer who designed websites or an agency who um, designed websites for clients, then you know how important it is to wireframe your website structure. And for me personally, whenever I try to design a website without uh, creating a wireframe, then I know that I'm going to waste a lot of time in figuring out what should be the hero section, how, what images need to be used and what are the slider images and what should be the images and all the graphic need to be used in various places. So if you want to avoid all this thing, then you need to design wireframe first. And if you are a WordPress designer and you create websites on WordPress for yourself or maybe for your clients, and now with Cadence Blocks, you can design wireframes right in your WordPress websites. So let's dive in in the WordPress backend and see what it's all about. So this is the blog post published on July 21st on Cadence website that they are introducing wireframe blocks in WordPress and they have a complete blog post about it and the best part is even if you are not a pro member you can still use these wireframe blocks so here we are in our wordpress backend let's go ahead and create a new page now let's give it a name like a uh, home for example and so let's go ahead and save draft and now in the design library if we click on that now you see we have a new section that is wireframes. If you are not a paid member, then you just need to share your email address, join the mailing list and you will get the access. So I'm going to put my email address here. I'm going to subscribe for access. And now here we are with full access for all these wireframe blocks. So here is the block for your content. Here is another block for pricing table. Here is a wireframe block for your hero section. So if you are not a designer and you are just trying to figure out how should I start designing my website, then you know wireframe is the best way. And now you can design your wireframes right in your WordPress website. So if I scroll down and if I want a hero section, so I will add this. So now my hero section is added on my homepage. And once that is done, if I want to add few more elements on my home page, I can go back to my uh, wireframe blocks. And from here, maybe I can add this block. And if I want to add one more block here. So let's say we will add a pricing table. So like this one. All right. So now it's here. So once I publish the page, let's open that in a new tab. And here we are with our complete wireframe for our website. So I've not done any designing yet. So that's why we see this uh, big giant title on the top and even the header is not designed yet. But the idea is to show you how powerful these wireframe blocks are. And you can start designing your website in minutes and if you want to show samples to your clients, then this is the best way. You can just start the wireframe live on the website. You will get an idea how the things will look like. Right now, there are 30 plus free wireframe blocks that we can use. And I'm sure in future they will add more. So here is the list of all the wireframes. We have the content, price, footer and various other useful stuff that you can just add in your website and just create the wireframe in no time. So this is how you can use Cadence new wireframe blocks to design wireframe on your WordPress website. So I'm pretty excited for these wireframe blocks. I am sure that Cadence team will add more blocks into it. And now I can start designing my websites and blogs in no time. And I will not waste time in figuring out what graphics should go in all the different elements. So I just need to create a wireframe first and then I can easily decide what images I can put in various sections. And that's the whole idea of wireframe. So let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts about these wireframe blocks and I would love to read your comments. And that's it for this short video and I'll see you in the next one.